this can be a very sore subject for me. My wife had an affair or signs your wife is having an affair or you're telling your buddies that this week my wife will have an affair. Emotional fidelity. It hurts, doesn't it? Hey guys, my name's James Nussbaumer and I'm the author of The Master of Everything, a series of books that's designed to help us live a better life, understanding spiritual metaphysical principles that help us get the life we want and, and to forgive and to heal and to move on. You know, I myself have been a victim, I guess you could say, of a former wife uh, having an, an affair and I um, kept it to myself other than to one of my sisters that I had spoken about briefly about it, but we never really went too much further on it. But the best thing you can do is find someone to communicate. You know, uh, re remaining in love is more difficult than falling in love. And by the way, while I'm talking to you, I'm highlighting this because I know that hurts. Maybe if we can address it, you know, my wife had an affair and you just need to decide what you're going to do. But the bottom line is that what you've got to do is you have got to heal. And that's why I like this uh, uh, slide here from my website. You are not created to live a meaningless life. You have the power to leave scarcity behind you. And the reason I've chosen this today is because, you know, it's a winter time here and it shows that you know, maybe spring is on the way and scarcity, a scarcity mind can come from, you know, when you've got proof that your wife, the woman you love is having an affair and um, you go through, beat yourself up over what did you do wrong? I understand all that. But my point is, as you're listening to this now, and as you're seeing this right here, my wife had an affair. In the description box down below, there is a link to my blog site and an article that I wrote that's very well received that has helped many men, not just men, but women too, maybe where they find their husband was having an affair. So you women, I, I don't, I'm not, uh, you know, being against you there as well for having the same problem. It's just that I'm a man and I'm touching men who have experienced emotional infidelity and because I know their pain. In fact, I still, when I think back to it to this day, still feel that pain, but it's, it's not really a pain. It's just maybe a, a pinch nowadays. Back then it was really a pain, but you know, another man or woman getting in the scene and perhaps maybe you found photos and you know, that breaks trust and shatters love. And you know, this all becomes the most typical causes of breakups in relationships. But just be sure to understand that the unsteadiness is not triggered by too much celebration or too many good times. No, no, it's not. If you are in a rocky relationship at the moment, it just means that something has gone on. There's huge separation involved. And that's why I want you to contemplate this, what I'm putting up for you right now. When you know that you're hurting like you are. It feels like the winter time of your life, but you can leave scarcity behind. Trust me that you can. <laughs> I can surely vouch for that if you know my story. And by the way, I want to uh, also add to you and whoever's listening here, to you guys especially because, well, you women too that are listening jamesnewsbomber.com. You can find out more about my weekly podcasts, Mondays at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Only on Mondays because that's a depressing day of the week for all of us. And uh, it's a day to, uh, you know, try to get, overcome that negativity so we can get into a better week. And that's the purpose of my podcast. And we dive into the A Course in Miracles, some metaphysical principles metaphysical, spiritual metaphysical lessons that, that may help you, that may trigger something in your mind to start healing over things like 
the emotional infidelity that we were talking about. Hey, I hope you join me. For you guys, here are some indications at this blog that the link is down below that I'd like you to take a look at that maybe some indications that maybe your, your lovely woman is in love with someone else or signs that your wife is having an affair and some tips on how you can heal without anxiety and anger and progressive hurt, how you can get over this. I wish the best for you. God bless, and thanks for listening to me.